Obviously, there were two, you know, two big keys to this game, um, and I give them a lot of credit for the first one. You know, they turned us over a ton, you know, 22 turnovers. Then I thought they really hurt us on the glass, so uh, I think they ended up having 13 more shots than us. Just not going to work against a really good team. So turnovers, we didn't rebound the ball like like we need to. And uh, you know, credit to them, their length and their athleticism. You know, Ben Simmons had five steals, and you know they were <coughs> they were <coughs> all over the place. But you know, we got to take care of it. We got to screen better. We got to pass better. We got to decision make better. Um, so it's it's on us too. But uh, first and foremost, the credit goes to them. Um, heck of a defensive team. Did you see anything intensity-wise as far as the difference between the two teams, especially in that fourth quarter? I, they swarmed us, you know, defensively. I thought that that was that was, uh, and we started turning over, and then I think we got a little timid. Um, um, they were definitely the more more aggressive team. I thought our energy was darn good the whole game. I, I was really um, pleased with our bench, with our young guys. Uh, obviously, Nick was really good. Uh, that whole group was good. So uh, that bodes well <coughs> for the future. Um, so uh, they, they, they kept us afloat there in, in the first half, did a great job. Well, uh, 20 turnovers is, 22 turnovers is obviously too much. I mean, when you have half of those in the last 13 minutes, yeah. What was the, I guess, difference in the last 13, 14 minutes where you had kind of kept the turnovers under control and then the bottom fell out? Kind of the same thing happened in Philly. They turned it up. They turned up their pressure, and, and we, we didn't handle the pressure uh, uh, like we needed to. So, uh, again, to credit to them. I, th I thought their length, their athleticism, their aggressiveness defensively really... Uh, um, you know, uh, and I think the way you answer that is by when they're really into you, you, you have to execute better, you have to screen better, um, you have to drive it harder. You know, when they're when they're up in your in your uh, uh, up into you defensively. So um, we'll look at it, um, try to help the guys. But uh, I thought they just they just became much more aggressive, and that we couldn't handle it. Can, can you just describe, you know, the things you tried to do to slow Simmons down and, and how he was able to, to beat it there at the end of the third and start of the fourth? You know, <laughs> I, th I mean, he uh, obviously, uh, uh, he became more aggressive and really started getting downhill on us. I thought in the first half we did a much better job of containing him. Um, we did try to stay home on shooters uh, because he, that was his elite skill, getting out, thrown out to shooters. So uh, could we have packed it in more? Um, I thought the zone helped us a little bit with that, but uh, he really made a uh, big effort to, to get downhill, got to the rim, uh, um, and obviously made his free throws. You know, we put him on the line, you know, I don't know, 14, 15 times. You would say that's not a bad thing. You know, if you look at the percentages, and so that's it's hard to, uh, you know, criticize our guys for that. But uh, he, he definitely got into our paint, uh, definitely got downhill. He played an unbelievable game, 42 minutes. Look at the numbers, uh, you know, great, great game. Kenny, following up on that Ben Simmons question, what challenges specifically does he present when they use him as a screener as opposed to a ball handler? Yeah. And is that why you switched zone then late? Yeah, he was getting down. They were hitting him on the roll. You know, it's like Giannis when they, you know, those guys, when they, they, they put him at the five and they start they start rolling him to the rim. And now he's catching it and, you know, you get your five back. And, and uh, that he, they definitely hurt us with that. That's why we went zone to try to take away that that pick and roll. Uh, but uh, uh, that's, a, that's a tough cover. He, he's... You know, he's so multidimensional. He's with the, with the ball. Um, he can roll. Um, you know, really good screen setter. Uh, you know, tough cover. Uh, Coach, another another 15 for Claxton off the bench today. What'd you see from him today? And is he kind of earning more I, more favor from you? Yeah, and I hope you guys see. Like, I, I hope you don't. You know, I, I would say how good I think he's going to be. I am a. Uh, uh, um, he's got um, big time talent. Um, big time hunger. Um, wants <coughs> wants to be great, <laughs> and you know, that, <laughs> excuse me, that's a lot of guys in this league. But I think he 
he uh, he's got a, he's got something else in there. So he's got a knack. Obviously, he his athleticism he can he can hang with the team like that. Like you know, it's his strength we we saw you know on the court. He's definitely got to get stronger. But once he gets stronger, uh, and he you know he can shoot the three. That that's that's that bodes well for us in the future. Yeah, I think he's fine. I think he has a heck of a fall, uh, but that's you know that's where he, he just be able to take contact. He's got to he's got to get stronger. Uh, four straight losses in this tough stretch of top opponents. Uh, does it become kind of a, a mental struggle at this point, especially with the Lakers coming in? Man, we we got guys that battle. We have a coaching staff that battles. Organization that battles. We'll keep battling. I, I think it'll it'll turn.